it's it's Saturday, September the 29th. It's 2.36 in the afternoon. Um, this is Sniffles bin. As you can see, Sniffles doesn't have care fresh. Uh, I am using up the remainder of the bedding. I will actually give him more because I have a little bit left over anyway. Um, but, you know, um, because I have a little bit left over, uh, I might as well use it because I plan to use the new laundry sheet detergents, the sheet ones, um, to reduce the amount of soap I'm using so it doesn't smell as strong. Uh, as you can hear, baby and uh, mama are squeaking their heads off. Oh, well, actually, no! Don't be mean, Patches. <laughs> um, alright. Sorry about that. No, they just get a little hormonal. Um, so, um, I decided to dump every last treat. The only thing that's in here that's old, um, is the dog milk bones. Um, this thing. Everything else in here is brand new. Uh, they have exactly six, uh, Oxbow healthy handfuls for hamsters. The little round cheerio looking things the brown ones and then they have exactly four of these living world extrusion pellets and then at least one drop i kept the drops actually some of them i did um i kept the drops if they were brand new um as you can see he's already eaten some of the new one but today the brand new one is orange so everybody got an orange one because i didn't have enough purple for everyone to have a purple and i i haven't figured out if everyone has a preference um some of my hamsters eat those. Some of my hamsters don't eat them as much. So they're not as, you know, diligently eating as soon as I give it to them. Um, as you can see, the wheel, I'm probably going to have to wash it again. That wasn't like that when I gave it to him. <laughs> so he must have peed on it. Okay, so I'll have to wash this wheel again. Um, I have to comment. Uh, these guys were so well behaved today. It's not even funny. My robo girls and my robo boys were both really, really well behaved. And what I mean by that is um, they happily and obediently just climbed into this inverted uh, igloo when I tried to transfer them out of this bin into a small bin. So I put all their toys in it uh, so I wouldn't, so I would get rid of the, the accessories so I could dump the bedding. And then I flipped the, the igloo and usually I try to scoop them in there, uh, but they don't want to go in. But today they actually just crawled in. They didn't run. They didn't cause a problem. They just ran, walked right in. And I'm like... Wow. But once they got in, when I left the igloo, they started to panic a little bit and they tried to jump out. Uh, so I put one hand over the opening, quickly got them over and let them walk out. Uh, when I was finished cleaning the bed, uh, the, uh, the bin, they also climbed right back in and I put them back in the bin. So they were really cooperative. It's the first time they've ever done that. So either the taming's working or they're just getting a little mellow because they're getting older or whatever. I don't know. Or maybe they're just having, they're in a good mood. I don't know. Um, as you can see, I've rotated some of the accessories um, so that it's facing me. I would have rotated this, but it wouldn't save as much space because I would have to leave room for them to walk. And they are capable of moving the igloo, sort of. They're not as big, so they're not able to kind of lift it a little bit. Uh, my Russian winter whites can definitely do it, but he, they aren't able to yet. Uh, so I faced it that way, which is away from the light source. The light source is on this side. So I faced it away so they wouldn't be as bright. That one, um, it's pretty cozy in there, so it's okay. Um, as you can see, this is kind of cute. <laughs> I put that there. Um, so yeah, they got all new stuff too. Um, and here's Nibbles. Nibbles' has bin is already a disaster, because she's already been in here. <laughs> Have you been in here, my love? Hmm? So she'll probably get more food again, because she's already taken it and... I don't know what she did. I don't want to give her too much because all it does is end up oozing when she walks in and it falls into the corners. Uh, so I'll just give her more after she's already been in it once. Um, so probably in another couple minutes uh, after I'm done here. Um, but as you can see, most of the people's wheels are clean. It's just that Sniffles for some reason peed in his wheel. I don't know why. And then here are my Robo Boys. I like this a little better. It's a little easier to film. Not completely, but... Um, they're all hiding anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, and yes, their wheel is clean as well. Um, so everybody got brand new treats. The most expensive treat, though, that I had to contend with when giving them all new treats. Nibbles, are you going to let me take your food? <laughs> it's these things. The Vitacraft ones. This is the most expensive treat that 
would cost me. Because uh, they originally, some of them had up to three of them in their container. But the reason is because sometimes when I change the bin, I like to give them fresh fresh treats. And I don't want to throw anything out because they're pretty expensive, some of the stuff I buy them. Right? I'm not being cheap. I buy a lot of stuff for them. So some of the stuff I just don't know if it's any good still. Because I don't know if it's stale or not. I can't try them. I don't know what it means. Um, so I've been just basically, uh, I add new treats, but I leave the old treats. And they seem to be eating them just fine. So it's not that I had to throw it out. I just threw it out because... Um, so these guys, as you can see, Patches and Snowball got Carefresh. This is the rest of the Carefresh. The other, the rest of it is there. So I split it between the two. Um, because I, there's a small possibility she's pregnant. I still don't know. I'll know within this week. Very likely. So if she gives birth, she's pregnant. But, uh, she's been pretty moody. But then again, I don't know why she's not delivering. Nobody seems to be. But, um, same here with Mama. Mama's pretty fat too. But, um, I don't know. I really don't know. But these guys have been given care fresh so that if they are pregnant, once they give birth, so long as it doesn't smell, because Chewy, when she gave birth, it was, oh my gosh, the blood smell smelled like stinky socks in a wet, in a wet, damp bag. So like a gym bag, stuff some dirty socks in there, get it all damp, now close the bag and just leave it there for like a week and then open it. That's kind of what it smelled like. It was pretty gross. Um, so in this case, uh, what I plan to do is, if she does pop, um, I'll probably just go like this and just scoop and take everything out. And then I'll try to kind of scoot her over on this side. I'll probably, I probably end up removing her, but if I do, I'll have to take the babies, right? So then I'll just put bedding there. And uh, that's the idea. Uh, uh, the other idea is I could go get another small bag for $10 of Carefresh. The Tysol, the dog place, they have it really cheap, so it's not bad. Uh, the large bag, the 50 liters, is only $23.99, so it's not a bad price. It's regularly $30 at PetSmart, so I mean, I could afford to get a bag at $20. It's not too bad. I would prefer not to pay $25 for a bag of Carefresh, but, you know, um, it does last a long time if you're only using it for two hamster bins, but when you do it for all six and you're doing it twice a week, it gets pretty expensive. Um, but that was at the regular price of $30, and plus I was always buying confetti, uh, a while back. Um, so that's everybody. Everybody got a clean bin. Um, I'm just gonna go give Sniffles some more bedding, and I don't know why he put the tunnel there. I don't even know why I gave him the tunnel there. Um, the tunnel was supposed to be behind the wheel to prevent the wheel from banging the wall. Because then it makes it really nasty sounds. Uh, so Snowball here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, she's either digging, bedding into her sleeping area. Or she's just digging. I think she's digging. <laughs> well, it's always cute to watch a hamster. Hi, baby. There's a perfect igloo right there. Oh, did you dig yourself a path? <laughs> These guys are slightly able to move the igloo. Like, she's... Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's always cute. She wants more bedding, I think. <laughs> so I'll just help her with that, and I'm going to turn this thing off now. Okay? Later.